What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former two-time Olympic gold medalist, former three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Vasil Hitek Lomachenko, superstar boxer, he lets it be known what the WBC sanctioned body and President Mauricio Suleiman had told him and explained to him about being franchised. After he beat Luke Campbell, Olympic gold medalist, British superstar lightweight title contender for his vacant WBC title that was vacated by four-division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Mikey Garcia. With seal high-tech Lomachenko, well, he states that the WBC indeed informed him that once he is elevated to franchise, his official WBC title will be vacant and will be picked up by undefeated WBC lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. So now, in a recent interview, with Vasil Lomachenko, he lets it be known that Teofimo Lopez is impossible for undefeated, unified, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Teofimo Lopez, who recently defeated Vasil Lomachenko via unanimous decision. He says, well, it's impossible for uh, Teofimo Lopez to be the undisputed champion because Devin Haney is the official WBC champion because he has my belt that I vacated and they, the WBC informed him and broke it down to him that if he, when he moves up to be franchised, that the official belt will be held by De Devin Haney, who was his mandatory challenger. Vasil Lomachenko, 14 wins, two losses, 10 wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age. He stands at five foot seven with a 65 and a half in arm reach. He uh, last saw in the ring October 17th against Teofimo Lopez, where he lost a unanimous decision victory. So with that said, he says that he is going to pursue a fight with Devin Haney because that's his only option at becoming a world champion. And seeing as though Devin Haney is the official WBC champion, it only makes sense for him to re-try to capture his WBC belt. He says he was clearly informed, as we already know, by Mauricio Suleiman, president of the WBC sanction body, that you could not win or lose the WBC title once you were franchised, okay? Franchise was essentially a trophy, a award, a recognition for your accomplishments. You cannot win or lose that, okay? When you lose, nobody else absorbs all your accomplishments. So the WBC, they created this franchise. There's only two franchise champions in the history of the sport of boxing, that being Vasil Lomachenko and the other being four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who currently is the unified WBC, WBA, super middleweight world champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo Alvarez, he was franchised prior to Vasil Lomachenko. So there is only two franchise champions in the history of the sport of boxing. And now we have three because upon his fight with Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez, according to Mauricio Suleiman, they, they petitioned the WBC sanction body to be franchised. Should they win the fight against uh, Teofimo Lo against Vasil Lomachenko? So they petitioned the WBC and asked to be franchised. Should they be victorious against Vasil Hitek Lomachenko? And with that said, they was uh, uh, victorious against Lomachenko. And so now uh, the WBC, they, uh, you know, conformed to them and gave them the op op opportunity to become franchised. But Lomachenko is saying that Teofimo Lopez refused to give him a, a rematch. He says Devin Haney was the official champion. So he's going to pursue facing off against Devin Haney in his next fight. He says because uh, Devin Haney anyway is the official champion. This is something that Teofimo Lopez is not going to like. He says that Teofimo Lopez has been campaigning and parading around, uh, flashing a belt that is not an official WBC belt. He's indeed the franchise champion. Well, we know the WBC sanctioned body, uh, Mauricio Suleiman, he says that they indeed uh, decided that Teofimo Lopez is now the super champion, uh, officially making him undisputed. I believe this was all damage control on the part of the WBC because they didn't want to look bad in the eyes of the, the, the boxing fans. Uh, they didn't want to have to continue to answer questions 
about Tiafimo Lopez if he's undisputed or not. So they went ahead and, and sent him another belt. The belt on the night he won, as Lomachenko stated, he had a franchise belt. He didn't have a WBC official belt. Well, now the WBC sanctioned body, they decided to mail Tiafimo Lopez an official belt and label him a super champion, okay? Thus causing more confusion within the sport of boxing. Instead of eliminate the confusion, they're adding more confusion. So what that said, they're saying that Devin Haney is the regular champion. So now you have two champions for the WBC. But Devin Haney, now he has two mandatories, Javier Fortuna and, and uh, excuse me, Javier Fortuna and, um, and Ryan Garcia. So now this is just adding more and more confusion. But with that said, Devin Haney, he was pursuing a showdown with Teofimo Lopez to make it official for Undisputed, okay? But Teofimo Lopez, he'd rather go the route of facing his IBF undefeated mandatory challenger in Australian superstar boxer George Cambosis Jr., which he stated he had no choice but to fight George Cambosis Jr. But we know we now know that Teofimo Lopez would have been granted a pardon by the IBF should he wanted should he decided to go the route and inform them he wanted to go the route of official undisputed with Devin Haney. As we know, the IBF stated this. Uh, we know Bob Arum now has stated this. Legendary promoter, top ranked CEO and promoter who promotes Tiafimo Lopez and Vasil Lomachenko. We also know Tiafimo Lopez's manager also uttered the same sentiments that, you know, uh, indeed that Tiafimo Lopez could have had a pardon and did not have to uh, face his mandatory challenger. As Bob Arum says, allegedly, he believes that Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosis Jr., they were in, uh, in cahoots. Behind the scenes, they were colluding to get as much money as possible uh, and, you know, have the mandatory challenge. And it worked out because Tiafimo Lopez is now going to receive $3.2 million. Uh, George Cambosis Jr. is going to receive $2 million. Uh, that's more than the bottom line number. Tiafimo Lopez was set to make his minimum of $1.2 or $1.7 million, $1.5 or something like that. $1.2, I believe it was. Don't remember the numbers offhand. But with that said, now uh, Vasil Lomachenko, he's letting it be known and letting it be, and exposing the fact that uh, the WBC indeed uh, reiterated the same thing that we already knew uh, is that you cannot win or lose the franchise belt. So Vasil Lomachenko, in an interview he did, he says that Devin Haney is the official champion. It has nothing to do with the fact that he lost to Tiafima Lopez. It has everything to do with the fact that this is what the WBC explained to him, okay? This is the same thing the WBC explained to the rest of the boxing world, that you cannot win or lose the franchise championship belt. Uh, it's actually an award and a trophy and acknowledgement, okay? Uh, and with that said, they said that it was it would allow franchise champions to, have to, manu to be able to maneuver within uh, their division without having to face mandatory challenges and make the biggest fights possible. So now Teofimo Lopez, he is labeled the franchise and the super champion in the um, lightweight division, okay? He has two titles now, according to the WBC. He's the franchise and he's the uh, super champion. And Devin Haney's the regular champion. So we were looking to get a conclusion to this, right? And get a resolution to it to have Devin Haney fight against Teofimo Lopez. That's what the boxing world wanted to see. But like I said, Devin, uh, Teofimo Lopez, he opted to go in a different direction. Now, I understand the part of Teofimo Lopez when he states that uh, he didn't want to give Vasil Lomachenko a rematch because Vasil Lomachenko thought so high of himself that he didn't think and feel that he needed a rematch clause against Teofimo Lopez. That's how confident he was. So with that said, he stated that uh, since he didn't have a rematch clause and if he would have won, he wouldn't have gave me a rematch. So I'm not giving him a rematch. And that's understandable. But what's not understandable is the fact that we're not seeing Teofimo Lopez versus Devin Haney in this upcoming fight. Uh, but like I said, he it worked out for him. He's going to get big money now. He's going to get $3.2 million, a lot of money, uh, far, far uh, much more than it was his last fight. With Lomachenko, he got one point seven. So he's getting a, a lot more, more money uh, going in this fight. We know that it went to a purse bid. Uh, Bob Aaron, Matchroom, uh, and Trilla, they all bid on the fight. And Trilla bid the most with $6 million. So with that said, we're going to see Tiafimo Lopez versus George Cambosis Jr. And it's looking like uh, sometime in um, the end of May, 
maybe even July, June, the first week in June, okay? So we got to see how this unfolds. But Vasil Lomachenko, he lets it be known that the WBC indeed let him know that you cannot win and lose this title. And they also let him know that Teofimo Lopez is not the official WBC champion. But the WBC, they make up the rules as they go. So according to them, he is. But let's see how everything unfolds. Maybe we'll get Teofimo Lopez versus Devin Haney next. Teofimo Lopez, he did state that if the WBC, which I didn't understand this, the WBC mandates uh, Devin Haney, then he will fight Devin Haney next. But Devin Haney is the regular champion, so why do we have to mandate him to fight him next? If they're not meant you. You didn't. They didn't. The IBF didn't mandate George Cambosis Jr. It's a bigger fight. You already know he's a champion. That being Devin Haney, so. Why not pursue Devin Haney fight? So let's see how this all unfolds. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. So Vasil Lomachenko, he says that he's going to pursue Devin Haney fight. Also, Vasil Lomachenko says that he's going to wait a year or look to buy himself out of his contract with top rank so he can pursue a Devin Haney fight. That's something else that De uh, Vasil Lomachenko stated, that he's going to look to buy himself out of the contract with top rank so he could pursue a Devin Haney fight if they can't work out a deal. So drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LD. B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.